what was it about the script? Was it something about the script separate from the story mm -hmm. that attracted you? Because these are two kind of different things, mm -hmm. and I think it's very educative to sometimes people are attracted to scripts about something they've never been interested in. And then I think you can learn a lot mm. from that. So what was it about the script and separately about the story that attracted you? Um, well, firstly, I, I've been for quite a few meetings with um, various um, production houses and and, um, and I'd, I'd sort of done the American um, tour of... Um, producers and scripts and I'd been reading a lot I, I really probably I, I don't know I, I think I'd read well over 50 maybe even a hundred scripts and um, and when I got hold of Matt's one it, it was it was the writing I, I was visualizing everything I could see on the page and and that was really important to me because I could see I could feel the way that Matt had written it. I could see the way that Matt was thinking. I could actually feel the moments, and and that was really rare. I think I'd, I'd I don't think I'd read much which had that. You can in my now sort of quite good experience of reading scripts because since that one I've been reading probably another few hundred over the past couple of years and. And it's very hard to find anything which doesn't start out. She walked in the room, she was devastatingly sexy, even though she was limping and she was crippled. She was someone that everyone wanted to have sex with. You know, it, a lot of scripts start by appealing. Have you read those ones? Yeah. You write them. You write them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in my um, next one. A lot, a lot of scripts, I feel, appeal to the producer before they appeal and the financer. So yeah, before they appealed to the director, so I felt that Matt's one was raw, it had emotion, it had feeling, it had intensity, but most of all it had a vision, and the vision was strong and powerful, and I hadn't felt that very often. Yeah.